Hey, my name is JD, and welcome to the first video in a podcast series called the Ask Video Cast. We're filming in beautiful, overcast, but not raining Vancouver, Canada, which happens to be the home of Ask Video. This leads me to the purpose of the Ask Video Cast, which is to do a better job at connecting with you, our beloved and esteemed users. So we're offering you a new way of getting access to some of our new releases. We're looking to expose you to the ethos of our company not just how we do what we do, but why we do what we do. We're also looking forward to showing you some exclusive interviews with some of our training partners and content creators, as well as some of the professionals in industry who are using our content to improve their skills. 2014 has been a remarkable year for our company. We continue to improve our training offerings. We have a huge amount of content in the production pipeline. We also have some really exciting new technology that's gonna drastically change the way our content is deployed on the internet. We're motivated to make Ask Video one of the best online training resources on the internet. And we're excited to you know, walk you through this process with us in a more personal way. So let's get started. October's tech news was in many ways dominated by announcements from Apple. After September's highly publicized release of the new iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, October brought new iPads, Apple Pay, and the release of OS X Yosemite, Apple's new operating system. I'm sitting here with Francesco Schiavone, one of Ask Video's more veteran trainers who just finished publishing a new 100 level series on Yosemite. Uh, we're here to get your take on the new operating system. First impressions? Uh, when you start Yosemite, you're gonna see that it, it's different. It feels cleaner, it feels uh, um, flatter. Uh, it takes a lot from iOS, though the icons are similar. It does feel closer to iOS. Well, I guess that makes sense. You know, Apple isn't known just for being a computer company anymore. It's probably better known for their phones and tablets now, soon to be watches. So I guess it makes sense that they're trying to converge those two systems. What are your thoughts on the new technology which bridges the gap between macOS and iOS? There's a number of them. Um, iCloud Drive is one of those. It allows you to have your files in the cloud, very similar to Dropbox, but it just integrates very nice with the Finder, just like another folder. That's awesome. I remember you having a couple hiccups trying to get Handoff to work in the early developer previews. Did you end up fixing that problem, or what happened with that? Yeah, with Handoff, the idea is that you take one activity from one device to another, and uh, my beautiful 2011 iMac was not compatible. So once I got a new Mac Mini, I was able to get handoff to work. Yeah, it's a sign of the times that a 2011 iMac is too old to work with new features in an operating system. Um, finally, just to uh, address the new 100 level course, who's the intended audience for that course? I had two people in mind. One of them would be somebody that is new to the Mac, and the other one would be somebody that had used the Mac but hadn't upgraded their OS in a while. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm sure a lot of our users are going to benefit from your new courses. I, I know I have in the past. And I just want to take the time to uh, thank you for coming out and chatting with us today. Thank you. Next, we move to another big announcement from our friends at Propeller Heads and the release of Reason 8, one of the most beloved DAWs on the market. This DAW has been around for as long as I can remember. The changes brought forth by its interface are subtle yet significant. So let's take a look at what Reason 8 has to offer. The most drastic improvement to the new release is the reworking of the browser's drag and drop functionality. With Reason 8, you can drag instruments, sounds, and presets right where you want them. No longer are you hindered by slow, clumsy load panels. A more subtle but thoughtful change comes to the transport bar. The new bar implements flat design language with the exception of 3D folds to separate function regions. The world-class trainers Mo Vollens and Holland Jones recently released a six-part, 100-level course series exploring the intricacies of Reason 8. The series covers a quick start guide, MIDI recording, audio recording, mixing and effects, and much, much more. This course is ideal for those who are new to Reason's interface, those who haven't upgraded in a while, or those just looking to brush up on their skills and learn some new tips and tricks. So that's a wrap on the first installment of the Ask Video Cast. I hope you found it interesting and insightful. Till we meet again, be well and keep learning.